All right, it looks like we're live. Um, so, what's up, YouTube, Twitch? Uh, today I'm bringing you a video how to win at Fortnite more. Um, I feel qualified enough to talk about this because, well, I've played this game pretty con consistently over the last few years, and uh, I have enough wins, I'd say, to back it up. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to play a regular game, solo, and I'm going to just kind of explain my thought process out loud and give some tips and tricks along the way. Uh, as soon as this loads in, I will go over my stats to show you how many wins I have currently. So yeah, perfect. Let's Let's get into it. stats here. For solo wins I have 36. Um, and if you notice my top 10 placements, 424 out of total solo matches played. Um, so basically I score in the top 10 at least half my games. Now if we go to duo, um, looks like only have 22 wins. I don't really play a lot of duos. And top five placements, 120. Uh, total matches played, 424. So squads. I think this is my best ratio I have here. Uh, 26 wins and their matches played. 71. Okay, maybe it's not my bad. But top six, which I'm not sure honestly if that means it must be the top six squads. But, anyways, so out of all those total, I have on LTM, that's the special games. Which I really took advantage of some of those. Uh, looks like I have 137 wins total. Uh, now keep in mind, due to my work, I do not play this game in the summer at all. So I only play this game really uh, winter. But anyways, let's load up a match here and I'll get to how I play this game. Still my favorite dance. Um, now one thing I do want to talk about before we load in is how important sound is to this game. Now, uh, before I had, right now I use the Turtle Beach uh, Recon 700s, and using a, an original Xbox One mic that came with the Xbox, um, I just, my Turtle Beach picks up way more sound and directional sound, so it's easier to tell where enemies are. Uh, I noticed just, yeah, the better sound you have for this game, 
it actually makes a really big difference. Wow, that was quick. Not even the loading screen. Okay, so the first tip I want to get into is the flight path. Now, I believe most 90% of people will drop close to the flight path. Uh, I go farther out. Shit. What's that? I go farther out uh, to avoid conflict and to also just be able to loot more peacefully. Uh, I hate dropping close and just getting in tons of gunfights. It never ends well. So, trying to drop far enough out where it's a peaceful looting experience. Because just just uh, dropping and gunning, I mean, you know, some people might get a scar, other people might get who knows what. You have a pistol, so you're already at that unfair advantage. And it looks like I do have company for out here, probably people using that same strategy, but it's alright. most important thing when you first drop is just get a gun. I mean, yeah, and pull that gun out. And then also just pick up everything you see in the beginning. And then while you drink shield, I like to try to organize. Just because, I mean, there is a time limit in this game. You really gotta use your time wisely. RPG already, wow. So you want to also make note of the circle, how far it is, and obviously try to leave, it's in a good time. So I'd like to circle that far out, maybe leave, you know, around the one minute mark, it be later. I mean I did find my med kit, so. Looks like someone died there. Yeah, and also try to make a point to uh, just organize your guns. When you do get in a gunfight, you're not a bumbling idiot. I hear a gunfight. Okay, I'm just gonna take off. Um, something I did want to mention though is there's a very aggressive way of playing this game. Which I am not that person. Or there's a more passive way. Now, uh, I try to go more aggressive for streams just so it's a little more entertaining. 
but uh yeah um I don't believe being aggressive is that smart in this game uh cause people will fight each other so and maybe I'll do a more passive gameplay if people are interested I'll try to go more aggressive on this So I should make the next circle. Oh, got sniped at. Um, one. Jumping around like I'm doing prevents people from really being able to hit get you from a sniper. So, whenever you move, you honestly just want to jump around. And then never stand still. That's just... I see people do that all the time. Even when you yourself have a sniper, you just do not want to get in that habit. Uh, you still, with a sniper, want to try to move around as much as possible. Oh, t -t -t. um, yeah, I need to be wary of that guy in that direction. I think I'm good though right now. Drop. That is definitely hot. That is so weird. I don't know where that bot went. It must be up here. Um, as far as supply drops go, I would not get them unless they're really convenient to get. Uh, never go out of your way to get one because by the time you get to it, someone's probably at it does more conveniently spawn in their location. So just be wary of that. Collect XP. 
Um, another thing I forgot to mention. Is, uh, sorry, wanted to focus for that. Never try to, uh, always keep your head on a swivel, so... Whenever you're just walking through fields and stuff, try to look around and check behind you. Make sure no one's following you. That way you can at least kind of have an idea if anyone's near you. And people are way less likely to, you know, sneak up on you if they see you're actually checking your surroundings. Yet. I'm really bad at that. Um, these little uh, log piles are really good for a lot of wood for quick mining. So, and that's kind of another tip I want to get at is try to make really good use of easy things to mine. Versus not easy things to mine that don't get you a lot of materials. Yeah, that guy was coming after this bit, bad boy. Well, unfortunately, that guy didn't have a good chance since I had the high ground. I'm sure people have heard YouTubers say how important high ground is. So just always try your best to, you know, have the higher ground. That's what a lot of really good builders do, too, is they build up. Um, because defensively it's a lot harder to, you know, not sure if I'm being baited here, but whatever, get it. Gosh, I don't know if I want that shotgun or not. Two jump pads, so... Most semi trucks are really good to hide under. In this case, they're not. Thought that was a chest. Man, I really hate when cer the final circle in big fields like this. So basically at this rate, um, I'm in the top 10. I do try to pay, play more passive, and the reason I do that is we're in a lot smaller circle. Uh, players will fight themselves. Aggressives will, you know, aggressively go after other aggressive players. And while they're doing that, like, I don't need to fight right now. I have, I mean, I have max stuff. I have max materials, two jump pads, uh, I have two traps. So that's 
nice. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do with, you know, a big field like this with not very many hiding spots, but, you know, I guess that's why they added big bushes, so. And I'm also going to try to organize my guns real quick. Uh, usually, I always try to take a rocket launcher over a shotgun. And then I have a SCAR, you know, mid-range, and then, or AR, and then sniper. It's for long range, obviously, so. And then, uh, I usually try to take med kits, shield, or a variation. Sometimes, though, I will, honestly, if I have the opportunity, I'll take a shotgun and a rocket launcher. Just because, you know, uh, aggressive players like to fight right up in your face, so. As far as shield and uh, medkits go, I do like to, I prefer medkits. Um, you know, that's kind of just personal preference, I feel like. If you feel like popping a few minis are more helpful than, by all means, your minis, but... So, people will harass you for doing this method, and, you know, they'll say you're just cheap, but, uh, the point of this game is to survive. Point, like, this isn't Call of Duty, it's not like, this, I mean, yeah, this is a very, you can play this game very aggressively, but, people don't care about your KD. Your kill death. They care about your how many wins you have. Rightfully so. So there's a guy by that rock over there. I probably won't engage though. Is that another guy? Can't tell. Nope. Wow, it's hilarious. Gosh, this is such a cheap way to play. Yeah, I'm coming up on some really just good builders. What the hell? Twenty five health. Twenty five health. That is just ridiculous, honestly. I felt like I got a lot of shots on him, too. I forgot how to bring up my game stats. Oh, here we go. So, obviously, uh, this guy is playing passive, what I like to do. Um, yeah, should I have, if I would have done that differently now, probably would have made the jump on him, but it's really funny, he's still rocking the John Wick. Um, as far as the end game goes, what I'm going to tell you guys is you basically want to just pay, play passive until you're in the top three. So I'm not sure if this guy's in top three, but as you can see, oh well he's 
gonna play more aggressive. Uh, my my way of doing this usually is I will rush them when the final two people are fighting. Now obviously it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes I have to, you know, do what I can. But this guy, sorry, the controller went out. This guy's wow, you're serious? Is that a bot? Obviously, you really want to get good at building for the final fight. The goal is to build upwards and just really get that high ground on them. Which, uh, I'll do more tips for you guys, but that's basically it. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, um, let me know. Uh, I'm also looking for people to play with, so hit up my email. It'll be in the description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts. Did I miss any? Did I miss any tips? I probably did. So just share your ideas. Um, anyways, hope you guys have a good night. Peace.